So in this video, I'm going to go over how to graph again, just in case you had trouble with the, the chart, sorry, the chart. And then I'm also going to show you how you can play with all of the yellow numbers for any situation uh, with friends and family or whatever. So I hope you'll be able to keep this file and use it and keep it for future use. All right. So what we're going to do is left click on age and drag the mouse all the way to age 80 or whatever age you've got there. Right. So I'll do that again. So I'm left clicking and then I'm dragging. What I'm not doing is highlighting the rows because if I do that and then I right click, I won't get the quick analysis. OK, so this is not an Excel course. I'm not going into details of functions of Excel. I just want to do it quickly to, to, so we can use it. So it's a left click and then we drag all the way out, which is annoying. Sorry about that. We drag all the way out with the mouse until we come to our final age. And now we right click and now we see quick analysis. OK, and then we choose charts and then clustered. We don't choose stacked because that would stack. If I choose stacked, it will stack the mortgage on top of the rent, on top of the income, which is ridiculous because these are, you know, your income is your income, mortgage and rent or rent are expenses. So we don't want that. What we want to do is right click, go quick analysis, charts and clustered. Clustered is what we want to show that these are different things. OK, now I don't even care about a title, but I, I do want to move this. I'm dragging this. So I, I grab that guy with my left click on the mouse and I'm trying to drag him all the way back, all the way back. Come on, come on, come on. So I can put them beside the numbers. And so I can see how the chart changes as the numbers change. OK. Um, and again, that's the income. Income's a little bit ridiculous, especially after retire, your income's going up like that. That's a pretty cool pension fund that can do that. Usually doesn't happen like that. And of course, as you know, income goes up and down. It depends. Um, you know, we get a new job, it shoots up. You lose the job, it shoots back down again. You know, so this, but this is a very averaged um, idea. So we can now uh, play with these numbers for different situations. In fact, I'm going to click on the income and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to delete. So I'm going to click on the income, I'm going to right click, then I'm going to delete. So I can just compare rent versus mortgage and that's it. So now the that, so again, this last part of the assignment is to just put in interesting numbers to you and compare. So let's say you were on, um, let's go to Redfin. Okay. Uh, that's a website which shows um, houses. And let's say we'll go Aberdeen, Washington, and we'll look for a house. And there we are. And let's say we want to buy this house here, 410,000. Okay. Or whatever. So lots of houses you can look up. Um, and then, so you put in your house price, 410,000, let's say, and here's your down payment at 20%. You can change that if you want to 30%, whatever, anything. That's a big down payment, isn't it? Um, and let's say your interest rate is, is better than that, 3.5%. And let's say you want your term to be 20 years or something like that, right? So my point is, all I want you to do in this part is just put in interesting numbers and compare, right? And um, let's compare that to a rent that's more expensive than 1,200 a month, right? So let's say the rent was of a house was say 2,000 a month for a, a big house, right? And so in this case, great if you had that massive down payment, that'd be awesome. And obviously over time, you're better off buying a house, right? <laughs> but of course it all depends on the situation. Um, but anyway, th that's all I want to do for this part is just to compare, play with the numbers. So here's a house for 250,000, you know, compared to a rent of 2000 a month, 
or compared to a rent of 1100 a month or sorry 1100 not 11,000 okay so just being able to change these numbers and to visually see what the difference is and noticing that a few things like what's happening here when the blue goes from here down to here that's when you pay the house off right the notice that the the blue increases but that's because property taxes and maintenance and insurance usually go up each year okay usually or on average they go up for sure right um and and the, the other thing to notice that look at this see the um annual mortgage cost no matter what year it is it's always the same number and then it becomes zero when you've paid the house off see that so there's no if inflation on the mortgage payment itself and that's one of the keys of the um, of getting the mortgage is that your actual mortgage payment is fixed now that's if you have a fixed interest rate which we're assuming we do and most mortgages would be a fixed interest rate okay so the fixed interest rate mortgage your mortgage payment itself stays the same throughout all right and and that's and that gives an advantage also to say a 30-year mortgage or even in some countries they might have a 35-year or a, even a 50-year mortgage because um, and a 30-year mortgage might be a little bit higher percent interest right but what the point is, okay, so your 30 year mortgage is, you know, it's $10,000 a year for the mortgage payment, right? But that's always 10,000. So like in 30 years time, you're still just paying 10,000 a year for the mortgage. And in 30 years time, you would imagine that you're gonna be making more money than you are now, hopefully, right? Um, so so that, that's one of the advantages. And so that's where you see the blue the blue columns are not going up as fast as the orange columns. And that's usually typical um, that, you know, your mortgage increases a bit as the property taxes go up because your property um, value goes up and also your insurance rates go up and then, you know, maintenance. I mean, it's more expensive to replace a roof in 2050 than it is in 2020, right? Because materials cost more, labor costs more, all that stuff, right? But um, the mortgage uh, expenses do, usually don't increase as much as rent does, okay? And so, anyway. So I hope you find this useful.